Okay, this is just a quick uh, how-to video uh, replacing the hard drive in a Dell Inspiron. This is the E1505, the one once again that I got from the junkyard. Okay, so first of all, shut the computer down. Then we'll uh, pop the battery out. It's hard to do one-handed. Just a second here. Okay, battery's out. Then we'll access the hard drive, which is under this cover right here. Can't miss it. You got two screws. Bingo, bingo. Alright. Remove the screws. Once again, I'm using my awesome cobalt micro driver with various tips. Um, okay. So we remove them two screws. Okay. Then we're going to, um, let's see how we're going to do this. Let's see, I think we take this out. I've, whoops, I've never done this before, so you'll have to bear with me. Let's see, oh, we gotta get the screws out. The screws have to come out completely. Okay, the two screws. Disregard what I was doing there before. Um, yeah, we'll just take that out. That's where, that's where you would put a wireless card or whatever. Okay, so you get these two screws out. Then you just pull the handle right here. This, there's a little lip right there. Just pull it, bing. There's your hard drive out. Okay. Now we just gotta release it from its, from this little handle on there, so we'll take them two screws out. Let's see, let me get this camera set down. Somewhere, maybe where we can see what's going on. Eh, that's not good. Hmm. these screws once again because they're very small. There's one. And there's two. Okay. So now we have our handle off. Got the hard drive there. Get our new hard drive, which I ordered from New Egg, of course. 320 gigabyte Western Digital. Caviar Black, 7200 RPM, 320 gigabytes. Oh, Scorpion Black, excuse me. Yes. Okay, so we're going to put the handle on. We want to have the handle in the same orientation as we did the one we took off. Okay, so we'll slip that in. Get these little bitty screws back in. The old hard drive was just a 60 gigabyte. So, so far, let's see. In this, in this laptop, some people might say I'm stupid, but I have uh, $59 for the screen, all well, $10 shipping, $69, $24 and 2 gigs of RAM, and then $49 for the new hard drive. So, <coughs> $150. I probably could have bought one, but probably not with, with what I have now. Okay, so now we'll just take the, the uh, new hard drive, slide her in. Oh, look at that. Had it upside down. What a jackass. Slide her in. Put the new screws in. No, not the new screws. The old screws. Okay. I gotta shut this off to find the screw that I dropped. And then I'm going to be installing Windows 7 from a USB drive. Because this... DVD drive on here, still for some reason will not, it'll, it'll play CDs, it'll play audio CDs, you know, or, well, any CDs, it'll read that off CDs, it just will not read a DVD, so, um, well, that's it, though, um, well, once I get it fired up, I'll take a video, all right, see ya. Okay, so, after I, uh, installed the new hard drive, um, loaded Windows 7 from the USB flash drive, um, the DVD ROM wasn't showing up, <coughs> so, in order to, you know, verify what kind of, uh, what kind of, uh, player you have in there on the DVD-ROM. Just flip the unit over, and right here, it's very simple. Take out this screw right here. See that little lock thing next to it there? Just take this screw out, which I'll do real fast here. Now, 
Okay, you remove that screw. And then you just get in this little notch right behind the screw hole here. And you just get your screwdriver in there and push out. And then out comes your DVD ROM. Okay. Then, of course, it'll tell you. This is an NEC. Um, this camera sucks. Oh, focus. Anyways, it's an NEC. And this DVD ROM is filthy. The inside of this computer is filthy. I'm going to have to rip it all apart and do it. But anyway, so you find, you know, you just verify that, you know, just, you know, for your own peace of mind. Then you just get it back in the slot, make sure you put it in with the writing facing down because your, your laptop's upside down, of course. And then you just pop it in, get the screw back in there. Then you go to the um, Dell support website, okay, and you download the drivers for your DVD-ROM. Okay, they got this, they got Pioneer. I think they got like four different ones. Download that. Then it'll, it'll flash the for the DVD. Then, what happened with mine was that, well, like a day later, it still didn't show up after flashing, but, <coughs> you know, I was, you know, figured out, I'll just leave it alone, I really don't use it anyways, but, oh, well, like the next day after the laptop did all its updates from Windows and this and that, all of a sudden the, the uh, DVD ROM is showing up again, so, so that's how you do that and, uh, you know, get your new hard drive. Now, this, I'll, I'll tell you, for just being a 1.8 gig um, core, it's just a core, Apparently what I read on the internet was that it's, uh, it's actually a core, a core duo, but one of the cores is just not there, so they call it Intel Core. But, it does good, now, 2 gigs RAM, 320 gig hard drive. Oh, the hard drive also only shows up as 273 gigabytes, so somewhere along the line there's like 50 gigabytes that's, uh, not showing up. So, anyways, alright, that's it. See ya!